Good evening. Good morning, everyone. What a great night it is here in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. We're so happy to welcome all of you to online marketing made easy with our world-class, unbelievably talented expert, Cheryl Coco. Cheryl, I have to tell you that this morning, as is her habit every single Monday, Chanthi sends me a message just reminding me about our product training and who is our featured VIP guest. When I saw your name again this morning, of course, I knew that you were already scheduled. It made me so excited because of your passion, your awesomeness, that it made me have a smile on my face all day long today, knowing that I was going to get to see you again tonight. So thank you again to you for being here. And to all of our brand ambassadors, no matter where you are, anywhere in the world, we're so excited to welcome you to this Monday evening edition of our product training. Those of you who are in the United States or have knowledge of our holiday traditions, you know that we have just finished one of the most important holidays of the year, which is our annual Thanksgiving weekend. And to all of you, I say, Happy Thanksgiving. We're so thankful and grateful that each one of you are a part of our By Design Brand Ambassador family. So Cheryl, as you and I begin, I, I'm going to pose a question for you that is a way of introducing the amazing topic that you share with us every few weeks, and that is online marketing with artificial intelligence. Now, I just happen to know from some very important business statistics that around the world, there are three big categories of businesses that people start every single year. It's a very random three businesses that I'm going to tell you about right now. One of them is beauty salons. Another one is auto mechanics businesses. And a third one, and where this comes from, I have no idea, but a third leading category of people starting new businesses is dry cleaning businesses. <laughs> the bottom line is, whether it be dry cleaning, auto mechanics, or beauty salon businesses, I've got to believe that you share my conviction that if those businesses have an online presence, it's going to make it even better for them. So the question that I wanna ask you for the benefit of all of our brand ambassadors, because they're gonna hear the magical things that you tell me, and they're gonna take those things out of your mouth, they're gonna repeat them, they're gonna duplicate them with their friends and neighbors. So let's just assume that I'm talking to my neighbor this wonderful woman who just opened a beauty salon. And in easy one plus one equals two fashion, what would you say to her, Cheryl, that would give her a perfect understanding of why OMA would be something that she wants to do? First of all, thank you, Dave, so much for having me. And thank you. I'm super excited to be here tonight. And the first thing that I would say, no matter if it was a salon owner, uh, auto mechanic, dry cleaner, <laughs> because that made me smile, would be, can you show me your website? And what are they going to say? Like, it's simple, right? It's easy. This is online marketing made easy. So you don't have to overcomplicate the message. It's, hey, can you show me your website? And most people that start a business, they focus on their brick and mortar style business or what they do. Right? But how do you find that person? What's the first thing that you do? For me, who nails done, likes to go to the salon, whatever, I'm going to search right online. I want to see where I can find the hours, what they do, what services that they offer. Even if you have a salon, right? Do you know what services that salon offers? Do you think that it's just hair? Do you think that it's nails? Do you think that it's waxing? Do you think that you can get a massage there? Whatever. <laughs> Look at me. I get all excited. But Right? Can you show me your website? So do we have to overcomplicate the message? No. 
no. And those are some of the best words that you could ever say is no. We don't need to overcomplicate the message. You see, in our business, simplicity means power. Simplicity means duplication. Confusion means nobody does anything. And so that example, that first question that you just said is an easy first step that everyone can grasp. And that is, show me your website. What would step number two be after that with respect to our OMA product? Would you like to have one? <laughs> okay. Do you have that? Like, sincerely, I think people love to overcomplicate the message of online marketing and we don't need to. It's, do you have, you know, I call them the compliment sandwiches. It's you have a great business, right? Do you have a website? Because everyone would want to be there, right? So your team, it's called a compliment sandwich, right? So you start with a compliment, you ask the question, you finish with a compliment, right? We call that a compliment sandwich. So saying, hey, and nine times out of 10, especially if that person's just getting started, the odds are they don't have a website or they have an outdated website or they can't make a change to a website or they're going to tell you every single thing that's happened on their journey to having a website, but you have OMA and this is online marketing made easy. Tonight, when we get, we have the opportunity to show you how you can make a website, how it's simple, how it's easy, all the fun, exciting things that you can do with your website, which is super duper fun, right? Like I think people see a website and what, what we don't know is, is how simple it is, but also how much fun it should be. I say every time I'm on here, are you having fun? Is everybody having fun yet? If you're having fun, drop a one in the comments. Aren't we having fun? I think we're having fun already. We should be, we should have fun. There you go. Look, hi Diego. Hi Chanty, thank you. Yes, awesome. See? There, there's a simple reason why I'm beginning our discussion this way. And that is, I don't want any of our brand ambassadors to have an obstacle in front of them that says, I really, it's, it's not within my wheelhouse of experience to know anything about OMA. I don't want anybody to think like that. And I don't want anybody to think they've got to have some kind of a degree or a certificate in any form of IT or computer related science whatsoever in order to have OMA be something that can bring life to them, their business, their associates, and to use your words, something that they can have fun with. And so simplicity is the, the key word that we, could, that we could be using literally every day with respect to online marketing with artificial intelligence. So thank you so much, Cheryl, for being, being my partner in helping people to begin to have an understanding that this is really easy stuff. You don't have to have an advanced degree. You can use it immediately. You can have fun with it immediately. And maybe most importantly, you can help people that are important to you or people that are going to become important to you see the tangible daily benefits of our OMA product. That is really what we want to do. So with that introduction, I'm always honored. Tonight is no exception to turn the mic officially and formally over to Cheryl Coco, our unbelievably talented VIP expert who is filled with passion, filled with smiles, filled with happiness, and filled with expertise about online marketing with artificial intelligence. So Cheryl, take it away. Thank you so much, Dave. I'm super excited to be here with you all tonight. Who wants to be an amazing website builder? If you wanna be an amazing website builder, what I want you to do is drop a two in the comments, drop a two, drop a two, drop a two. Everyone here tonight, is going to look like a professional by the time we are done. But guess what? We're not gonna only make you look like a professional, we are going to make sure that it is easy to do so. So I love to see everyone dropping that too in the comments. And are you ready to get started? 
Let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to check out some websites and I'm going to share some little tips and tricks with you all to make you look like a pro. Ready? This is the secrets. It's the tips. Okay. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you all. And everybody, you can now see my screen. So I'm inside of the OMA product. And today we're going to focus on websites. And I pulled up a couple different things for you all to see here today. Okay. So I have some websites that are in here, right? But I want you to take note of a few things that happen when I show you a website. So let's take a look at this one. What do you notice here? Anybody notice anything different about this section right here? This is Facebook Messenger, right? So if you have a business page, which you should have, I highly encourage you to have one. If you have a business page, what we're going to do is show you how when you build a website with OMA, if you want someone to chat with you, would you want them to chat with you on Messenger? How quickly, how easy it is to add this button right there to your website. It's professional looking, right? Do you have to be a genius in online marketing? No, we're going to make this super duper simple. So tonight we're going to learn all about how you can add this chat button, which is Messenger. Let's also talk about what you see in this website here. Does anyone notice this button here at the bottom? Do you notice this chat button here at the bottom? I know lots of people want to say, hey, can I add not just Messenger? What if I want someone to message me on WhatsApp? Can they do that? Of course, for sure. There's somebody who said WhatsApp here in the chat, You're taking it away. Good for you. That's awesome, right? So on your website, can you have people contact you from WhatsApp? Of course you can. On this one, can you have people contact you from Telegram? Of course. How many people have Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, or Telegram, right? If you do, comment with the one that you have or you use right here and how simple and easy it is for people to contact you. If you check your messenger on Facebook, if you check Facebook or if you check WhatsApp, if you check Telegram on a daily basis and you're communicating with people, make sure that you put it right here in the chat. I want to see it because it's simple. It's easy. And when you have that pop up that shows right there on your website, it makes it easy for people to say, hey, okay, you know what? I have a question or I want to chat with that person right away. We make it simple. Okay. There's also some other things that you could see here. I just, OMA rocks. I kind of put that scroll here. Super fun. And also an image that you can click to. And also <laughs> I see people putting WhatsApp messenger for sure. Right. So also how you can go to, or add to cart and add something from maybe PayPal, which has been huge. We've done lots of workshops and people love this. Okay, so how you can also add a PayPal button. So let's get started here, right? We'll take a minute and we'll take a look at just a few of the pages that we already have built, right? You can always add a new page by clicking on add new and that page will already show up for you. It's a template, it's already done and you could edit it. So let's just take a look and edit it right here, okay? So how do we add that Facebook Messenger pop-up to our website that everyone loves? And can anyone do this? Okay, so you click on this little wheel at the top. You don't even have to know the right terminology. You just click on that. And then it says, add custom code. And you can see my messenger code here, but I'm going to show you the secret on how you can get this code simply and easily. Doesn't it look like, it looks like Cheryl's out here coding websites, but she's not. <laughs> she just knows the shortcut to do so. Okay. So if you have Facebook or you're watching from Facebook right now, hi to you all. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. So you want to go and open up your Facebook account. I guess people are just seeing everything here. Click on see more and you can go to your business page here. 
like Cheryl Coco, whatever your business page says, and then click on settings. Everybody follow along. It's super simple. And it says messaging. So you click on messaging, right? And then if you scroll down here, it says add messenger to your website. They tell you what to do. So everybody, if you can follow directions, you can do this and have a great pop-up there for your website. So you click on get started and you're gonna click on add messenger to your website. Awesome. Everybody can follow the steps, right? You can choose your language. You can even choose a greeting. See, I put, hi, I'm looking, or I look forward to chatting with you, or I'm looking forward to chatting with you. You can turn that guest chat on. So if someone's not logged into Messenger, they can also chat with you, which is super fun. Okay, click on next. If you want to have even more fun, you can choose custom colors. I chose pink. Obviously, that's a color that I like, right? And you can choose the color that you like here. They have some colors that you can choose from. And then you could automatically expand it. So here, Facebook gives you that opportunity or Messenger gives you that opportunity to automatically expand. I like the expand. I like the, you know, it shows up really big on your page. And then you click on next. And then here is the most important part. Okay, this is the hardest part that you got to do. It's the hardest. <laughs> you take the website domain and you add it here. Okay, you can see mine. I already added it. It says realtor demo for you dot now dot site slash home. Okay, you get that if you go back here, right? You can see that's the website link or the domain name. So you make sure that you paste in here and click on save and you can add the code to your website. So can you copy this? Now let's copy to your clipboard. Amazing. Click on finish and your chat plugin is ready. Done. Go back here. Remember how you found it. Click on this little wheel, click on add new code. And then you basically just paste the code here. Look at that. You can name it whatever you'd like. Name it messenger, save, and make sure that you save it and preview your website. Okay. And boom there's the pop-up. So I'm going to come back and stop sharing really quickly because I love to see everyone on here. So can everybody now add this wonderful pop-up from Messenger where people can speak to you right from your website? Can everybody do that? Are you a professional? Everybody put in the chat, drop a three if you're a professional. Can you do it? Can anybody do this? Come on. There we go. Of course we can. Anybody can do it now, right? If you missed it or it went too fast, make sure that you watch the recording. We make it super simple, okay? We make it super simple. I love it. Okay, so you, well, I'm gonna show you with WhatsApp too. I know, it always comes up. I wanna know WhatsApp, I wanna know Telegram. I'm gonna share with you everything. So this is the first one that you can do. And you have an amazing professional website now with the chat bot that comes popping up and it's your messenger and someone can communicate with you and you are amazing, okay? Super duper simple. So what's next? What do we wanna do next? I want you to remember this. It's simple, it's easy and anyone can do it, okay? Anyone, as long as you take a second and follow those directions. So the next thing that we're going to add is WhatsApp. How many people want to know how you can add WhatsApp into your website? You can have that little button, WhatsApp. People can get to know, okay, you can chat with me right here from WhatsApp. If you wanna know, make sure, yep, put me right here in the comments. Thanks, Angel. Put me in the comments. The next thing that we're gonna do is show you how to add WhatsApp, okay? So I'm gonna, there we go. Awesome, okay. So let's have some more fun and continue to add WhatsApp to our website so everyone can chat with us whenever they'd like, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen again here. 
and remember where we found it, okay? So you're gonna always wind up in the website builder. You click on edit and you wanna hit the wheel here and you wanna click on add custom code and edit that code here. There's a website that I want you to all remember. It's free, you can use it. You, this will give you the opportunity to create that um, button and make you look like a professional, right? With OMA, you can do amazing things and adding these codes make it simple. So it's called getbutton.io. It's absolutely free. You just go there and it'll give you the code that you put into your website. See, people thought I was like writing something or doing something and they were like, wow, but no, I just took it, right? I just said, okay, let's go to this website and they'll tell me exactly what to do. So here you can choose <clears throat> different messaging apps. I chose WhatsApp right here. You can also choose Telegram. We'll show you that in a second. And you add your phone number. So what do I do? You have to follow the format, okay? Everybody can do that. Just write my phone number in here. <laughs> Okay, that was real hard, right? And then you can add a call to action here. It can say message us or message me for more details. Okay, and it'll appear just like this in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, and then all you do is put your email in and click get button code. Okay, so what do you do? You copy it. <laughs> You copy it, you come back here, you edit the code or add the new code here. And we're gonna go ahead and click on paste and click on save, right? And then we save our website here. And then we preview that website that happens right here. And now look, look at that. Message me for more details. And people will go right on over to WhatsApp. Yes, you can do that with the website builder that you have here with OMA. So how can people contact you now right from your website? It's simple, it's easy. They can go to Facebook Messenger or you can now add WhatsApp. So of course, I'm gonna ask you, can you now, it's called getbutton.io, write it down. There you go. Thanks, Julian. <laughs> Thank you. So how many people, right? Drop a four in the comments if you now know how to add WhatsApp. Your website is amazing. You're amazing. You, you look like a professional, but we made it simple and we made it easy. And you now have WhatsApp added right there to your website. So if someone wants to contact you, they click on it. It even works from mobile. They'll see it on mobile and they can go and it'll open their app right to WhatsApp and they can start chatting with you. I know it's great. Okay. So how simple is it? The next one that we wanted to do was, can we add Telegram, right? There's different people that chat through different apps depending on where you are around the world, right? Some of us use Facebook Messenger, some of us use WhatsApp, some of us use Telegram. So we're gonna go ahead and share again and show you just how simple it is to add Telegram, okay? You don't even have to remember anything more. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen again because we're having fun. And, right, where do you go? You go here right, to getbutton.io, let's refresh the screen. Okay, so what's the one that looks like Telegram? Right here, you just click on it. Once again, it's free. So you add in Telegram, you have your username. Mine's just Cheryl Coco, right? And you add it right here, right? So you come back down, you can do message me to find out more, find out more whatever you'd like to put as your call to action. It looks just like this at the bottom, okay? And then, of course, they'll email you the button code, 
What do you have to do that's super fun is copy it. You go back in here to your website builder, okay? You edit your website. We're gonna edit the code here and we're gonna add or paste. And now we have Telegram. So we're gonna click on save then click on save again at the top. And then we can preview that website and look at that. We now have Telegram added right there to our website and that message comes flying out. It says message me to find out more. Message me to find out more. Okay. So really quickly, I'm just going to stop sharing once again, how many people, right? Are you an amazing website builder? You are when you have OMA. Is it simple? Is it easy? It's drag and drop. You can do so many great things, but you can now also, right? Add your messenger from Facebook. You can add WhatsApp and you can add Telegram, okay? If you know that you can now do this or you feel like you're a professional website builder, what I want you to do, right? We're just gonna keep on going up in numbers because we're having fun out of five. Go ahead and put a five right here in the chat, okay? Tell her, yeah, hey. <laughs> you're all amazing professionals who can build incredible websites, okay? So, awesome. You can add different ones, yep. Great question, okay? So, what else? Now, one of the questions that we get asked most in the workshop is, can I add a PayPal button, right? What if I just want someone to be able to add to cart, right? I want to sell an ebook or a training or a product or whatever. Can I have or do that right with our website builder? Can you do that? How many people want to know how to go ahead, put me in the comments. If you want to know how you can add an amazing PayPal button right here using OMA, right? Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So that's the next thing that we're going to show you. Make sure that you're dropping a five because with PayPal, of course, you can add different pay methods. You can use PayPal, accept credit cards. So I'm going to see really quickly live if we can add that PayPal button right here as we all just, I guess, take a look inside PayPal. I'm just going to share my screen. Okay. Let's have some fun. Okay. So remember you're building and editing a website. I'm just going to go back to my websites just to make sure. Okay. You have websites here. You can click on edit. Okay. Now for this section, we're going to move over. You're going to actually add this to your page. Okay. We're going to add this to our page. So what we need to do is click on the little pencil to edit our page. So let's click on the little pencil, okay? And with the website builder, you can do incredible things, okay? You can add headlines, you can add feature blocks, you can add large images, an image gallery, videos, and more. Now, how do you do it? How do you add a large image or a feature block? This part here, you click on it and you pull it over with all your might, <laughs> pull it over and you drop it down and that's it. We give you the directions for the rest. You can click on add image, whatever image you like. You can even upload your own or you can take one of the many images that we give to you. Click on select, okay, right? Select again. And now you have that image there. You can even change the overlay of that image and click on OK and look, you're amazing. You're a great website builder. You just added an image to your website. You can add video and more. But everyone here says, OK, even if you want to delete it, sure, you can delete that section as well. But how do I add a PayPal button? What if I want someone to pay for something here. Okay. So let's just take a second. We're going to add a large image here. 
and we're gonna say uh, cosmetics. I don't know, we'll choose this one or, okay, we'll choose that. We'll put that image here and click on select. Okay, now what if I wanna add a PayPal button? I'm gonna take this code snippet that's right down here. See it? Everybody, it says code snippet. It's right here. And I'm gonna to try to add it right here to the bottom of my section, okay? And now I have to paste the code here. But do I know how to paste the code? Do I know? Well, here you can find it just by logging into PayPal, which everyone's just gonna get a view of my PayPal. Okay, so when you're in here, you wanna click on the button that says pay and get paid. And then it says PayPal buttons. They're already done for you, okay? Super duper simple. You can add to cart, buy now. There are smart buttons. There are so many things that you can do in here. If you wanna just click on add to cart, right? Or buy now, click on add to cart here. Let's see if PayPal wants to work with me. I haven't logged in in a second. Okay, here we go. So you can choose a button, which, is, which says shopping cart. You can name your item. Everybody can do this. I think it was like lotion or something, right? $50, $500, wow. Okay, you can see the customer's view. It says add to cart here and you can customize more. You can use a smaller button if you'd like. You can add a drop down menu, add a text field, pricing options. But do you need to make it difficult? Absolutely not. Okay. Do you have shipping? You can add it, tax rate, and the email to receive payments. Just put that here and click on create your button. Okay. So what did they give us? I'm going to select the code, copy, come back here, paste the code. Look, can you have an add to cart button here? Okay. Save, preview. Oh, I'm going a little fast. Preview here. And do I want to add to cart? Okay. I got a lot of things in this cart going on. But now you can add to cart and add a PayPal button, right? Super duper simple. So can anyone do it? Of course they can, right? Can you have or give people an option to pay? Of course you can with OMA. We make it really, really really simple, okay? So I know that there's more that Chanthi wants me to share with you and, and our by design team and how much fun that we have with HTML. But I wanna know if you are having fun here. In PayPal, they'll give you the option to use different credit cards, Visa Master. Make sure that you go there and make sure that you follow those directions, okay? When you go into PayPal, and you get started, it'll ask you for those PayPal buttons. There's different options with different buttons that you can add depending on what you are looking to do. Okay, it's a great question. So when you go into PayPal, right, and you start at that home screen here, let me just see if I can log in really quickly because it kicked me out. You can add multiple if you'd like for sure. Or if you're, um, so people are asking if there's more than PayPal that you can add up. There's a code that you can add a button with uh, for sure. But today we're just gonna show how you can add PayPal. So once you're logged into PayPal, click on pay and get paid, right? And then there's different button options. Just let me share again really quickly. So no, this was pay and get paid and then PayPal buttons. And then you have, a whole bunch of buttons that you can see. So if you check out the buttons that they have, right? What kind of button that you wanna add to your site? I've tried them, they're all great. Make sure that you use them if you'd like to. But of course you have that option here with OMA. So what did we learn already? We're amazing. We make it simple, make it easy to build a website right? But we also make it easy to add amazing features to that website. So you can now add your messenger from Facebook, from your business page. 
You can add WhatsApp, you can add Telegram, you can have people pay you using PayPal right here using OMA. So do you have to go and be this person who's built websites and be, you know, understand code and hire somebody to do all of these things for you and pay lots and lots of money. You have OMA, you can do it all and you can make all the changes simply and easy as long as you come and hang out with us. We make it super fun. Okay. So how many people are excited about what they learned already? right? Are you excited about what you learned already? Make sure that you drop a six in the comments if you're excited about what you learned already, and we'll share just a little bit more with you all, okay? So we're having lots and lots of fun. I told you, right? Online marketing made easy and made fun, okay? So what else do I want to share with you all that makes your website super fun, okay? So I'm going to start right from adding a brand new website. And then I'm gonna show you some features that you can add with, of course, HTML, which is our topic today, or that code snippet. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you really quickly, right? And I'm gonna click on add new. Everyone, if you wanna build a brand new website, you can do this, just click on add new and put the name of your business. So. I'm just gonna focus on salon, right? That was one that Dave mentioned. And then the website name, I don't know, Salon by Coco. <laughs> and then you get to name your URL. So I'll do salon by Coco dot now dot site. Okay. And then choose your category. Okay. So what do I want it to be here, right? Business services cosmetics, credit, you can go all the way down here and see all of the different industry categories that you have here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose cosmetics just for fun. And then uh, hair care or makeup, cosmetic, hair. <laughs> I'll do hair. Okay, next. And look, okay, I already have the basis of what I want to use for my website, but I can add, edit, or change it at any time, right? So if I want to add that WhatsApp or Telegram or Facebook Messenger here, remember I go to this pinwheel, I add the custom code, I add that new code, and I'm going to go back here to, let's see, I'm going to copy this one, right? Let's make sure this is our telegram copy, paste, telegram, click save, click on save. And now we'll have that added to our website. Now, if I want to edit any portion of our website, I can do so, right? If I have a great video. Remember, all I have to do is drag and drop each one of these sections here anything that I want to add. But we wanted to have even more fun adding code snippets, right? So we wanted to have even more fun adding code snippets and show you just how easy it is. So see this code snippet button? I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna add it right here and I can paste my code. And I want everyone to know you can find, you do not have to know how you can go to this website right here I don't know why it's called this, but it's quack it. <laughs> it's quack it .com, and then it's HTML codes. Okay. So you can see all the different codes that they have. You can use text codes, table, HTML links. But one of my favorites is this one, right? Where you can have the scrolling text or HTML marquee codes. They're super fun. Okay. So let's see what scrolling text looks like. Kind of looks like this right here, right? So scrolling text, I'm going to choose here. You can see all of this amazing code that's here. Oh, right. Do you have to know it? No, but if you can copy and paste, you can do it. So there's only two things that you need to know from here. Do I like the color? Maybe I want it to be purple. This says lime green, so I'm going to change it 
right? And I'm gonna write in purple, okay? Let's see if it'll change to purple. I usually you can get it to change. Purple, let's see. Oh, I have to click on, so purple here, and then scroll all the way down. And where it says scrolling text, you can change the text. So just backspace and do salon by Coco, right? Click on run here. And now it's in purple and it says salon by Coco. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna copy it. Look, it looks all serious. Copy, come back here, paste, click OK, click on save, right? And let's take a look and preview it really quickly, OK? So now we have that scroll salon by Coco that scrolls by, which is great, fun. And then you also have that telegram here that pops up. And you have a website that you can edit or change or use some of this background. I kind of love this picture here. Right, I actually do. I think it would be great for a salon. And you can have that scrolling bar here, but you can edit it and make it your own. Remember, this is just a template and all that you need to add is you, okay? So have lots and lots and lots of fun with it. If I wanna change a section, I can just click on it and I can add salon by Coco and I can tell them my location, right? Here, we make it super simple, okay? So can anybody do this? Yes, right? Let me come back and stop sharing. So we've built a website. We started it, right? Everybody started with a template. And then you got really professional with your website. You're able to add Messenger. You're able to add Telegram. You're able to add um, WhatsApp right there to your website, making it super simple. You can also accept payment using PayPal, which was pretty amazing, okay? And then you can also <laughs> do some scrolling text or HTML to kind of add some spice or some fun to your website because of course, this should be super fun. I think, thank you, that was super nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna turn red because someone said you're great. Thank you. So are we having fun? Lots and lots of stuff that we've shared with you here. I'll share with you just a little bit more in that HTML, okay? All right, <laughs> I'd like to go back and check all of the tricks. Thank you, that was super nice. Someone's, yeah, this is on Facebook right now, so that was fun. Um, yeah, you can always go back and watch the recording. So I want everyone, to get out there, get creative, get, get excited about your website. You can go in here and you can build and have as much fun as you'd like. And you can make it really simple. Make it look like you've been a professional building websites for a very long time, okay? So I'll just share a little bit more with you here. We have just a few minutes left. So let me go ahead and share my screen, okay? So... Now that we have this salon by Coco scrolling, we have the live, uh, we have here, right? Um, inside of this section that we have. So we have this, do I, right? Like, can I edit this section here? Or what if I just wanna delete this section? And just say, okay, I'm gonna delete it, right? Do I wanna learn more today? Your information you can add, right? Do you have questions? We have answers. Okay, so what happens here, right? If I just wanna add a button or if I wanna add, you know what? Let's add a new page together, okay? So here you have the home page, but what if one of the pages that you wanted to add was products because you had a salon? You can click on add a new page and you can click on products here and see where it shows up. So you have multiple tabs in your website. So someone can come to the home screen. They can also go to products. Now you can edit the product page here. So let's say you wanted to edit the product page. Okay. I'm just going to have some fun. 
and add a feature block here. And I'm gonna add an image, really easy, really simple. Okay, if you wanted to show some products here, you can upload your own images. Let's go on over to the cosmetics here. You can add this, select. Okay, I can add some subheading here. We're heading our amazing products. Products, text, left, stop. I can change the style if I want. The section background I can change whatever I like in here. I can even show a button if I want to, right? Uh, here, and then, well, I'm not gonna show our button. Click on OK here, save. And then you can see, check out our amazing products. And then you can see the image right here. And you can keep going down to show the next product or the next product or the next product or a video on that product page. I'm just gonna click on save and then preview. And now you have that home page at the top. We have our scrolling bar. We have our amazing image that says Salon by Coco, right? We have that pop up here for Telegram. If people wanna message us. We also have a products page, right? Check out our amazing products. If this is your hair product, makeup, lipstick, whatever, you can also add multiple tabs. So it's not just one page of a website. You can add home products. Maybe it's about me and more that you can continue and continue to add to your website. So, okay. How long can I, um, you can keep it for the length of your subscription. Can I use a sales funnel template? You can start um, when you get started. You can add whatever you, you, you want to get creative, right? Or have some fun with it. So edit it, delete it, add different things if you'd like. It's completely up to you. Okay. All right. So today, once again, if you're just catching us right now live, what we did today was we learned how to add Facebook or Business Messenger, right? Right there to our website, great big pop-up with Facebook Messenger there to our website. We also learned how to add WhatsApp. We learned how to add Telegram. We learned how to add scrolling text and HTML code, where to find it to make us look super professional, right? And we also learned how to add PayPal buttons. So if we have a product that we wanna add, and we want people to pay for it right from our website, you can do that by adding that PayPal button. So I hope you've enjoyed this session of OMA and online marketing made easy. I can't wait to share with you even more next time I had lots and lots of fun. Thank you so much for participating here in the chat. I had a lovely time. Thanks, back on over to you, Dave. Cheryl, you've done it again surpassed all expectations, given a simple, powerful, fun, and happy explanation about this amazing product, online marketing with artificial intelligence. So in network marketing, we always talk about how important it is to become a product of the product. And this product of OMA is absolutely no different than maybe the traditional products that we often talk about whether it be in the category of skincare or nutrition to become a product of those products. But I wanna to suggest to all of you that this online marketing with artificial intelligence fits perfectly within that paradigm as well. Something that we can also become a product of this product. And then as we share it with our friends, neighbors and people, we will be able to do so with the kind of passion and big smile on our face that we have from this great example of Cheryl Coco every single time that she is on, uh, on this program with us. So Cheryl, thanks again to you for your incredible expertise and the amazing personality that you bring that you present it uh, with us. So thank you again. And to all of you brand ambassadors, thank you so much for being here for this edition of Online Marketing Made Easy with Cheryl Coco.